Okay, good evening. Planning board is now in session, Monday, April 13th, 2020, 7.02 p p.m. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law 30A18, and the governor's March 15th, 2020 order imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in one place, this meeting of the South Pro Planning Board will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the Town of South Pro's website at https colon backslash backslash www.southboroughtown.com backslash remote meetings. For this meeting, members of the public who wish to listen to the meeting or participate in the public hearing may do so in the following manner. And that's the uh, website that I just read. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post on South Pro's website, an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceeding, proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. So tonight's meeting, planning board meeting, will consist of addressing the agenda items, which are the uh, continued public hearings, and we'll, we plan to uh, continue these hearings with uh, no action or deliberation during tonight's meeting. So first item on the agenda is a public hearing scheduled, scheduled for 7.05 p.m. And it has to do with annual town meeting warrant article, amend section 174-10 site plan approval. This public hearing is continued from January 27th, February 10th, February 24th, March 9th, and March 23rd. So at this point, we would entertain a motion to continue the public hearing. And that would be to continue it to 7.05 p.m. at our next scheduled meeting, which is April 27th. Mr. Mills. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion we continue the annual town meeting warrant article amend section 174-10 site plan approval to April 27th at 7.05 p.m. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Morris, yes. Mills, yes. Stein, yes. Luttrell, yes. Houlihan, yes. Very good. Public hearing is continued. Um, with the situation such that uh, there may be a power outage and we're still on here during the mm -hmm. storm, um, the next public hearing is scheduled for 7.10 p.m. However, since there'll be no uh, deliberation or discussion and it is only 7.07 .07 p.m., I feel it's appropriate that we um, move into this public hearing, which is annual town meeting warrant article, amend sections 174-9 special permit requirements, 174-9, 
19 extensions or alterations. This public hearing is continued from January 27th, February 10th, February 24th, March 9th, March 23rd. So at this point, at this time, it would be appropriate to entertain a motion to continue this hearing to 7, 10 p.m. on April 27th. Mr. Mr. Mills. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion we continue an annual town meeting warrant article amend section 174-9 special permit requirements and 174-19 uh, extensions or alterations to 7, 10 p.m. on April 27th, 2020. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Morris, yes. Mills, yes. Stein, yes. Luttrell, yes. Lahan, yes. Very good. Public hearing is continued. Again, while we still have power, I think it's appropriate mm -hmm. that we move on to the next agenda item, which is a continued public hearing, annual town meeting, warrant article, update section 174-12.1, outdoor illumination. This public hearing is continued from January 27th, February 10th, February 24th, March 9th, March 23rd. At this point, it would be appropriate to entertain a motion to continue this hearing to 7.15 p.m. on <clears throat> April 27th. Mr. Mills. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to continue the annual town meeting warrant article, uh, update section 174-12.1, uh, outdoor illumination uh, to April 27th at 7.15 p.m. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Morris, yes. Mills, yes. Stein, yes. Luttrell, yes. Coolahan, yes. Excellent. That public hearing is now continued. So the rest of our agenda consists of the planner's report, approval of meeting minutes, and then uh, discussion of the next meeting. Karina, did you want to go on now? Yeah, sure. Can everybody hear me okay? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. So um, the first thing in the planner's report is um, because of the um, health crisis, the town administrator and the board of selectmen have asked, um, you know, departments to look at their um, budgets for fiscal year 20, which um, the state right now has said is going to carry to finish out the year. Um, but the town um, administrator uh, indicated that there would be no discretionary spending. In other words, if we didn't have to buy um, something that is not really necessary, we should hold off on that um, and little things like that. So um, I wanted to just um, have the planning board revisit and um, confirm that Don Morris as chair would continue to work with me to review the budget to make sure um, that we do what we can to help during this crisis, but also maintain operations um, for the planning board and the planning department. So the question, the, the yeah. question to the board is, uh, as we've done in, in past years, uh, relied on the chairman and the town planner to uh, make adjustments to the budget up down or to keep it the keep it the way it is um, and keeping the board fully informed of our either questions or um, actions so or uh, we could do it uh, as as a group um, going over each of the items uh, in session with the uh, with the rest of the board so what's what's your choice so, and let me just say one more, there's two things here. There's the fiscal year 20 budget, which we're operating under right now, which is what the t town, you know, wanted to just be careful with discretionary spending. 
The fiscal year 21 budget is up for approval at the when the annual town meeting happens. Um, so I, you know, Don and I in over the when we prepared the fiscal year 20 budget last spring, um, you know that one's already set. But there are um, sometimes there's a little bit of money left over here and there, um, and I just want to confirm that with Don or the planning board. So. I would be comfortable with uh, continuing as we have in the past, Don, that you work with Karina to make minor adjustments. And if there's anything major, you'd come back before the uh, update the rest of the planning board. Anyone else? Yes, I'm in agreement with Mr. Mills. Uh, me also, that's fine. Yes, I would agree. Very good. That's the way we'll, we'll proceed for now. See where it takes us. What else you can have, right. Karina? Thank you. Uh, the next um, item is um, regarding these remote meetings. Uh, as you know, we've been uh, continuing the public hearings for the zoning amendments that are proposed for the upcoming town meeting. Uh, <clears throat> and we haven't opened it to public participation in the sense that they participate in real time during the meeting. Right now we have YouTube videos that are being recorded and then um, there's a 10 minute, that 10 second delay and they're live streamed in that manner, but nobody really can call in and participate, whether it's an applicant, et cetera. So um, I wanted to find out how the board wanted to proceed with the upcoming uh, meetings, uh, whether we would like to hold in this fashion um, until things are clearer um, and we can have complete, full <coughs> public participation um, to be compliant with open meeting law. Just know that the state has expanded um, provisions for permitting timeframes now as of um, April 3rd. I sent everybody a copy of that bill and it's on the Dropbox um, with some changes that they made in order to help boards and committees um, who have limitations and are concerned with open meeting law. Um, in other words, if you have um, someone submit an application, uh, there's no um, time frames at this point while we're in the emergency status that the state has. Um, how long before a planning board can actually have a public hearing and, and those types of standard deadlines. Um, when decisions have to be put in. There are ultimate deadlines though for once the public emergency is over that the planning board would have to hold hearings and um, take action 45 to 60 days, depending on what that particular um, provision is. So the question is, um, does the planning board want to hold or do we want to attempt to um, move forward with a uh, meeting that actually will hold public participation to the extent that it can um, with the setup that we're using right now with Zoom? Um, I can tell you that we have a potential ANR for 19 Ward Road, uh, which is the combination of two lots. Um, I don't have anything submitted yet, but they would be interested in um, submitting for the April 27th meeting. Uh, they are aware though that it's based on the direction that the planning board decides on this evening. Um, in this case, it's um, a parcel and a smaller parcel that was purchased and the applicant will want to sell their property the a &R to combo the two lots could be done before or after. They'd like to do it before, but um, they were talking to the attorneys. The other thing we have on the plate is um, we have uh, Chestnut Hill Farm has the proposed mm -hmm. barn reconstruction for from Deerfoot Road, and they've submitted an, um, their application, and they've given us some supplemental information that we asked for, but it has not been filed with town clerk yet, and they are aware of that. Um, at this point, they would not make the April 27th meeting anyway, 
because um, we still need the three and a half week lead time to get it published in the paper. So those are the two things on the horizon. Um, so it's not earth shattering, um, but it's, you know, the board has to decide if they want to take on um, the public participation piece of these remote meetings. Sorry, that so, was one long sentence. <laughs> so um, if you want me to go first, I will. I, I feel that we should, uh, we're continuing to get guidance and we're also watching how the selectmen are doing their meeting. Um, their business seems to be uh, quite a bit different than what would prompt us to uh, take full action at, at a meeting. We are, our public hearings for site plan and other things usually involve a lot of uh, questions, a lot of public participation. And I would recommend that um, since the items before us are so limited and relatively not uh, time sensitive, that we approach our April 27th meeting as we have this meeting and our previous meeting, which is to um, address the continued public hearings and uh, conduct the meeting with no deliberation or decisions. Tonight we're being asked to make a decision relative to public participation, but that's administrative and we're allowed to do that. So I, I think at this point, I would recommend that we uh, try to have our next meeting as we have this meeting and our previous meeting with no deliberations. That could change in this two weeks between now and our next meeting. So if something did come up where we would have to um, have a deliberation, we would we, we would have the ability to adjust to that. Just my opinion. Don, I, I would support that um, approach going forward too. If something really pertinent and pressing came along that we would adjust. But um, at this point, I would agree with the, the items that are coming before us. And, um, you know, Karina, if you get feedback from the people who are looking for projects to come that it's really pressing, then mm -hmm. notify us and, um, you know, we could, we could adjust. But at this point, I, I would be in favor of what Don recommended. Okay. Mr. Stein. Um, I'm also of the opinion that given the current situation, um, everyone's best served if we maintain the, the, the same format and uh, try to uh, delay or pu push out a public participation until absolutely necessary. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Mrs. Luttrell? Um, I'm in agreement. I think, um, especially for a project that um, the community would be very interested in, I think it's difficult uh, to participate over Zoom. I know I've watched some of the selectmen's meetings. I don't know if they've had much public participation in theirs. I would think it would be better to, to hold off and have the hearings like we usually. Thank you. Mrs. Julian. I'm in agreement with uh, the rest of the planning board. Very good. So Karina, um, that's the way we'll approach the next meeting. Okay. And Thank of course, you very if, much for the feedback. If new, yep. uh, if new applicants, applications, new uh, prospective projects appear before us, before you, um, in the next couple of days or, or weeks, uh, you'll let us know and we can uh, adjust our decision if necessary. And we know that you'll uh, deal with uh, any proponents uh, and relay to them what, what we basically just discussed. Yes, I'll do that. And if anything changes, I will let everyone know immediately so that we can um, uh, adjust and go. Um, assist as much as we can. 
What else we got? Um, we have um, meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I also sent um, earlier this afternoon executive session minutes, which um, are not for discussion, but if, if everyone had had a chance to look at them and if there were no comments, they could be approved for format this evening. If not, they can be pushed to the next meeting. And these were executive sessions from uh, an executive session on at the March 9th, 2020 planning board meeting. So yeah, I, if anybody I, I, needs I, more time. I looked at them and I do have a, a question or a comment. So I would suggest that we uh, deal with it as your email indicated as to how to uh, comment on possible changes. Okay. When you say vote uh, on it by, by format, what, what, is, what does that accomplish? But it doesn't, it, it, if the planning board votes on them um, for format, that means they're, you know, people have reviewed the context of the meeting minutes and agree to what um, is transcribed there. Um, the next step would be in the future, once any pending litigation is over, then they would be released for um, public posting with the town clerk. So it can be done in two stages. You can already have them um, agree to the content. You know, the planning board is on board and approves the content, but they don't approve them for release yet. Yeah, I have a question on the on content. Okay. Yep, I, I did kind of late today, so. Yeah, I haven't I haven't looked at them yet, so I'd be in favor of holding off. Okay, and then if everybody can send me their comments if they have them individually. And then Anything I will else? get with Kate Battles for revisions. Because Kate's have, the uh, one who's doing them up. We have the March twenty third meeting minutes, right? Yes. Anybody want to Move to approve those. Make a motion. We approve the March 23rd uh, meeting minutes as written and recorded. Um, normally, I would second the motion. However, I've not reviewed the uh, minutes. So at this point, I would be abstaining. So we'll move those to the next meeting. OK, that works. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn has been made and seconded. Any discussion? Mm. Hope everyone's mm -hmm. safe. Morris, yes. Mills, yes. Stein, yes. Portrell, yes. Houlihan, yes. All right, Very excellent. Good. Great, thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, you, Tom. Stay healthy. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Good to see everybody. Thanks, Tom, too.